Hello, I'm Archie Luxury and welcome to the program. Today I'd like to continue the series where I look at common terminology used in the, the watch making industry, in the watch collecting industry, and uh, I try and explain very simply what these terms mean. And uh, I gotta say, you know, a lot of these watch wankers, they're very much like wine snobs. Oh, Torbian, or chronograph, or they use all these fancy terms. And the reality is, they probably didn't know the term themselves before they started doing their homework. And uh, it's, look, I've got to say, you know, it's very much a situation where getting into the hobby when you buy a piece and you start looking around you start to pick up these terms so don't don't be afraid if you don't know what these terms mean because a lot of them I don't think some of these wankers really know these terms either and uh, it's always good to look at books and uh, this this is a a great book here which is watches eyes sorry eye on the time and uh, it's it's a very it's a general it's a general type book, coffee table sort of book there, and uh, I picked it up because it had some really nice pics in it there, and uh, I'm just going to talk a little bit about what is a tourbillon. What is a tourbillon? And obviously a tourbillon, tourbillon is a mechanism invented by my good friend Breguet, and it's, it's to counter, counteract the effects of gravity. Okay, so that's that's what a, a Torbian is. So invented by Breguet, which I've I've often sprung sprooked sprooked the uh, the greatness of Breguet. I love Breguet, and uh, they, it's also it's just such a wonderful. It's an interesting type of mechanism. Now now Torbian watches themselves, they're hideously expensive. Patek has Torbian, Vacheron. Uh, Jäger Le Coultre has Torbion, and uh, it's quite quite an interesting thing there. And um, I'm going to put some pictures up, as you can see on the video here. And uh, let's just just have a little bit more of a closer look. So I'm consulting a book. I didn't just pluck this information out of my ass. And there's some really great books around there. So let's have a look. Abraham Louis Breguet, 1747 to 1823. He turned the, the watch from a timepiece kept in a separate case into a slim pocket watch that improved the accuracy of the watch with the invention of the tourbillon. And basically, he mounted the escapement on an epictical, epictical train, which means, in simple man's terms, this means the center of one circle is carried around the circumference of another circle. The circles are wheels called trains by watchmakers and uh, it's all fitted into a cage. This rotates completely on its axis over a period of time, usually a minute. The train con rotation controls the hands before the tourbillon, the hands worked inadequately, inadequately in half rotation. And uh, that's a, it's a very, very interesting thing. So basically a tourbillon counteracts the effects of gravity to make a more accurate uh, piece. And, uh, I mean, obviously, with, with, with history, that's been, um, this is actually a um, scotch I'm drinking, Lagavulin, Lagavulin, I don't know how to pronounce these fucking things, but that's the scotch from Brian. Thank you, Brian. And a tourbillon itself there is to try and make a more accurate watch. And quartz really, quartz defeated the purpose of a tourbillon. I mean, a tourbillon is a beautiful thing to have. A lot of, a lot of detail, very difficult complication to make. You can't really see it. A lot of modern tourbillons have that exposed section on the dial so you can sort of tell they're a tourbillon. And uh, Borman Mercer even had a... Uh, a watch which isn't a tourbillon, which did the same sort of thing to sort of show off, but uh, so that's just being a bit cheeky. 
but a torby in itself there, it's a complication which you really can't see. Like with a an annual calendar, it tells you the day, the date, the month. Very simple. Torbion, it's not it's not as uh, visual as that. And many Pateks, they just say Torbion. You can't even see it from the front of the watch, from the dial. You can't even see the Torbion parts there. So, yes, the Torbion, which uh, was a piece invented by Breguet. And that's why I've always held Breguet in high esteem. It's got so many wonderful innovations. I hope that explains what a Torbion is. And uh, don't be afraid to, uh, to get some good watch books. I'm Archie Luxury. I hope you've enjoyed this segment.